surrounded by my childhood. Um, we're going to be going through my entire VHS collection today. I knew I had to do another collection video, seeing as you guys really enjoyed my movie collection video I did. Thank you all so much for watching it. Um, I love talking about movies. I love making these videos where we can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy each other's company. So, Without further ado, I'm going to be categorizing the movies down in the description, so check out the timestamps uh, if you want to skip to a part that you're interested in, but I would highly recommend and highly appreciate if you just watch the whole video through. Get nice and cozy, get your favorite drink, your favorite snack, sit back, relax, don't forget to smile, and please enjoy the video. Let's get started. starting the video off with my most favorite VHS tapes I have in my collection. I do think some of these are pretty rare as well, but don't quote me on that. I know I'm going to get a comment that says you can get that on eBay for like $2. I'm sorry. We're going to be starting off my collectibles and favorites with this movie right here. A vintage 1984 media home entertainment Texas Chainsaw Massacre VHS release. Now, as you all know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 1974 and pretty much shocked the world with the amount of violence and grittiness and blood and gore it had. When in reality, if you watched it today, not many people would even blink twice, considering most horror movies nowadays are just blood, guts, ghosts, and more. Um, and it's so funny that people say this is one of the bloodiest movies they've ever seen, when it doesn't even have that much blood. It's just the amount of uncomfortable energy it kind of brings to you. Everyone's so hot in the movie, and it's just all deserty and dry. All that mixed with the chainsaw-wielding lunatic. I'd say it's a pretty disturbing movie to most. <laughs> uh, I did get this at a convention, uh, and from what I'm told, it's fairly rare. I didn't spend too much money on it, but this is an original VHS release, and it is in fairly good condition. I would say it's in pretty good condition, minus a little mark up here, but let's go ahead and open it up, and I am going to verify for you guys that this is legit. So, apparently, and this is what the guy told me, he could have just told me this uh, to make it uh, just that much more lucrative for him, but this sticker right here of the title card and the information, the metallic shine to it, as you can see, this one is fairly metallic. It's not like a matte one. It's, it's a little glossy. That is what symbolizes it being an original copy and not just one that was remade or remastered. It's been through a fairly good amount of retailers, I'm sure, but nowadays with all these collectors going around being collector crazy people like myself really, really want these items, so obviously the prices are marked up. Let's see if I can... There you go, get it to focus on there. There's another metallic uh, sticker. Um, but this, from what I'm told, is a original copy. Uh, I take really good care of it, or at least I try to. Um, I just recently got myself another VHS tape player, or VCR, and I have yet to watch this, but I don't want to burn out the tape too 
much so just thought this would be good so that is i would say my most prized possession in my collection is this one here uh, next up we have the making of michael jackson's thriller now this i would say is fairly rare i did not buy this off of someone at a convention or a thrift store or anything like that um my parents actually bought this um themselves when it first came out this is a 1983 vintage copy of this so i used to watch it all the time as a kid uh the tape is fairly in good condition i would say you still have you know everything in there nice tape to go with it all and uh i just remember my mom always playing this for my brother and i i was obsessed with michael jackson as a kid i used to try to learn his dances i would sing his songs uh i would always do the moonwalk for my family at parties um but this just re-watching it over and over again with my older brother I would say is the majority of my childhood um, that and playing Halo 3 almost every day but uh that's my Michael Jackson Thriller VHS tape 1983 vintage my god I like that Next up is one I actually found in the storage. I had no idea we had this, but I'm fairly certain this is one my mom bought, uh, either when she was younger or when she had my brother and I. 1939 Wizard of Oz. As you all know, that's the original movie and year it was released. This is the 50th anniversary collection. So, if my math is correct, that is the 1989 vintage VHS tape. It opens up, and again, it's not in super good condition, but it has these pages of just stories and pictures and just lots of really interesting things about the movie. I haven't gone through it myself. Wow, but it is very, very nice. Oh, how they were able to really get all that done. It's, it's in fairly good condition for being, what, 30 years old, a little bit over 30 years old. Um, but I'm a big fan of it. I think it's really, really cool. And it's just so nice to look at. I'm a big fan of the blue. Um, really good, vibrant color. So, another vintage one for the collection there. I uh, feel like such a cool kid having all these collector items. Oh, man. How you doing? You doing good? Good. That's good. I'm always here for you. Okay? If you need anything your back. Next, we have the Water Damaged Star Wars Trilogy. Now, I do not think this one is worth that much money because I've seen a lot of other collectors have them in their set, but I'm missing one of the slips for, I believe, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah, so Return of the Jedi does not have its slip on it. Uh, and unfortunately, the casing got into some pretty bad water damage. Even the tapes don't want to come out. So we'll pop them out one by one. <sighs> Starting with... My boy, A New Hope, which, as you can see, has gone through some decent amount of damage, unfortunately. But I do believe these weird... Wow, 
just, oh, 1995. Yes. Yes, I think this was a 1995 release, so not super old, but very, very cool. Nonetheless, I mean, having Star Wars anything nowadays is worth like a billion dollars, but I think it's a lot of fun. One of my favorites, which also withstanded some damage, Empire Strikes Back. A very, very nice VHS tape. I like how each of them are, like, categorized with the color. You know, New Hope is blue, Empire Strikes Back being purple, and I'm pretty sure Return of the Jedi was green. Um, so, another really nice one. Here is the tape for Empire Strikes Back. And again, just a really cool VHS tape to have in the collection. I forgot to show you guys the New Hope tape. Like I said, the water damage pretty uh, messed him up a little bit, so, I mean, Hopefully these babies can still play, for all I know. And of course, lastly, not in its original sleeve, Return of the Jedi. Uh, another favorite of mine, I mean, I think a lot of people really enjoy the original trilogy, uh, regardless of which one's their favorite. Um, but this is just a nifty little trilogy collection box set that uh, unfortunately uh, went through a lot of damage so we're just gonna set those off to the side as we continue don't want them on the camera want to keep it nice and neat next up we have something i bought recently that uh, i think wasn't that much money but it is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. We have the Scream trilogy. Now, just the three movies. Obviously, Scream 4 wasn't released on VHS, from what I know, um, because it's so recent. Bada bing, bada boom. The original Scream movie on VHS. Uh, I'm not sure when this one was released or made. Uh, you know what? I don't know. It doesn't say on here, but it is one of my favorite horror movies, and if I ever want to get that old vintage feel while ghost faces hacking and slashing, I know I can always get it with this. Um, again, one of, if not my most favorite horror movie of all time. Um... I also think that Ghostface has the best mask and costume just because it's so Halloween-y, you know, it just gives you that really big Halloween feel. Next up, Scream 2, which people actually uh, thought was somewhat better than the original. Uh, I like this one a lot. I think they did a great job with the sequels. And of course, um, they were very self-aware with like sequels being a thing and how Hollywood just d does them for like a quick cash grab and everything. But it's another really, really great movie. I got it on VHS and I'm honored to have it in my collection. Fantastic. Now, Scream 3. I say it like that because I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think it got a little too weird in this one. They really tried to make things click where they probably shouldn't have and just added a lot more to the story that I felt was pretty unnecessary uh, with the whole Hollywood scandal type thing. Um, Scream 2 did very, very well with the whole stab movie opening, but I 
be like this one, you know, taking so much time in the Hollywood world of, hey, everything is connected. You know, Sydney's mother was an actress herself and blah, 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 and all that. It just, it didn't really click as good as the other ones did for me. But, hey, it's a Scream movie, so I have to have it in the collection, Scream 3. But, uh, out of the trilogy, let me know which one you guys like the most. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you are going to say Scream 1, which is the right answer. Whatever floats your boat. Now, I'm going to move over here and grab the Scarface uh, little bundle they have here. Scarface being obviously a super duper duper mature movie. Um, it's by far, I would say, uh, Al Pacino's best performance. I mostly know him from this movie because, believe it or not, my parents showed me this as a kid. It's basically three hours long and it's an adventure for sure. Um, but it's just amazing. <laughs> there's not much to say about Scarface other than there's a lot of violence, a lot of adult stuff, and just an all-around great story. But as I said before, it is, it is almost three hours. So, uh, what VHS tapes had to do back when releasing them is they had to split them up into two parts. Yes, two parts, because it was too long of a movie to fit on one tape. So you got part one and part two, uh, which is really funny because you would have to, you know, put this one in and you're watching this really intense movie and then I don't know where it just stops and says please insert tape two so you would pull this out and insert tape two but guess what kids you have to rewind VHS tapes in order for them to be played again so I can't even imagine having to rewind almost an hour and a half of footage twice in a row when wanting to view this movie. That's why you always be kind and rewind. But yeah, if you can handle it and if you can watch. Jeez. If you can handle it and if you can watch adult rated R rated movies, uh, I'd highly recommend Scarface. VHS, but you should definitely check it out, maybe on Blu-ray or 4K. It's super fun. Another classic that I feel is in really good condition is my Titanic. Uh, they did the same thing with this movie that they did with Scarface, which was split it up into two parts, so you're able to view the entire movie. Um, this one was bought by my parents, actually. And it's so funny that on the bottom there, it actually says digitally remastered when they're talking about making it into a VHS tape. It's just, you know, not even close to being the quality that we're able to get now. Uh, so with this one, it's not just two separate tapes, but each tape has its own VHS slip as well. So you have part one and part two. This is what they call cassette one. So uh, there's just a little nice little poster on the front and obviously a summarization of the movie on the back there with the iconic I'm king of the world scene. And, of course, uh, you have cassette number two, where it starts to go down, start to get pretty hot and heavy over there on the Titanic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this one, I think, just has a little, uh, I don't want to 
as a fun fact, but a fact of the Titanic sinkage of, you know, the casualties and the people that were rescued and stuff. Uh, it's by far, I think, one of the best movies of all time, just in terms of everything, I guess, you know, Leo is perfect in this. Uh, Billy Zane, I actually met him. I had him sign my Titanic copy that I have on Blu-ray. Just absolutely amazing, but, uh, I just think it's funny how the first part of the movie is like them all in love, having a good time, and then the second part is, oh no, we're gonna die, so it's like, oh my god, Jack, I'm having such a great time with you, and then Jack, I need to get the hell out of here, like, it just, yeah. So, you got both VHS tapes that fit perfectly. Back into their slip there. Put that one to the side, and let's actually take this. I found this, and it's an original copy. Uh, I've actually never seen Superman the movie, but I thought, hey, it's an official Warner Hump Home Video release. Uh, it's a vintage 1986 VHS tape, so this one has some years on it for being in this condition. I think it's, uh, it's fairly good, you know? You got your Superman movie. You got the tape in here. Yeah, wow. This is actually in some really good condition. There's the tape for you. Looking really, really good. Uh, I can't wait to get myself a bigger entertainment system in my living room so I can display these once I get my VCR plugged into the main TV. Uh, just because I think VHS tapes and their cases just look so cool, you know? I know we have much slimmer videos now so we can fit more in places, but just having tapes look like this, it's just so much room for for the movie. It's beautiful. Peace de la resistance. So yeah. That's Superman the movie. This next one is... I, I say this for all the movies I watch, but they're my childhood movies. This, by far... Sorry about that helicopter. I'm just gonna... It's probably the Terminator, you know, just checking in on us. Okay. Are we good? Appreciate it. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The movie of my childhood, I would say. Um, this movie, along with the ride at Universal Studios, was my entire... Uh, childhood. Now, this is the collection, so it has both the first Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, you guys are gonna call me a poser, so please go on and do that. I've never seen Terminator, the first one. I haven't. Fight me, okay? Uh, but I'm going to. I was debating on watching it on VHS for the first time, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I should probably just wait and see it on Blu-ray or even 4K so I can really um, get every little detail, the sound, the color, the quality. I want it to be the best I can get. Um, but as you can see, you got both the tapes in here. You have the Terminator. Very nice. And you have Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Now, I don't know who the Terminator is fighting right now, but there's just a bunch of helicopters over my house. So I do apologize if you can hear that. Very nice. Now, we are going to be Force Gump out of the way before we get into our class. 
classic horror movie monster packs. This has sustained a lot of damage. It's my Forrest Gump uh, VHS tape. Very, very cool. Um, this is definitely purchased by one of my parents when we were younger. Uh, I did not buy this one myself. But uh, I think it's nice, you know, it's, it's a VHS tape as long as it plays. Uh, the back is really, really neat. Just like every other movie, gives you a summary, gives you some of the better reviews and quotes from the movie. It, it looks like... Okay, so... This one, the movie came out in 1994, it says here, and this was actually released in 1995, so the VHS tape came a solid year after the movie was released, but as you can see, oh wow, this one, this one does not want to leave its casing. Would you look at that? The tape looks like it's in pretty good condition, so that's fantastic. Doing good with that. All right. And again, I know I have a lot of younger viewers, but if you guys haven't seen some of the classics I've shown, please check them out. As I said, it's the movies I grew up on myself. Um, let's do the Classic Monsters Collection. Uh, beginning with the Wolfman, I wasn't able to find uh, Phantom of the Opera or The Invisible Man, unfortunately, or Bride of Frankenstein, but I got the Wolfman. Gives you a nice vintage poster back there with obviously a description. This one's part of the Classic Monsters collection, so all of them are fairly similar. I'm most likely going to be making a uh, retro video store roleplay with all these very soon. Uh, so yeah, I'll just put the Wolfman right here, looking good. Uh, we also have Frankenstein. Frankenstein, probably the most iconic monster of them all. Very good condition. I got all of these, um, I believe at Comic-Con. Or I think it was Frankenson's, I'm not sure. Tape in very good condition. Again, these were refurbished, I think, just brand new tapes that were made. Um, none of these are vintage at all that I know of, because I was able to get them for like, I think, seven or eight dollars each. They were not expensive at all. Of course, my boy, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, I, this movie I was looking forward to seeing when I first got the collection, but I just, it, it didn't hook me in as much as the others did. Uh, I end up enjoying The Invisible Man probably the most. He's, he's definitely my favorite. I'm actually reading the book right now, which is a lot of fun. Um, but you know what, Creature was a close second for my favorite. Uh, Phantom of the Opera was another really good one. Dracula, obviously gotta have Dracula when collecting uh, the classic monster movies. Him, you know, him and Frankenstein are probably both the most iconic, you know. The classic the vampire. Uh, Obviously, you got the tape in there. And I don't think I showed the tape to Creature. There you go. Now, I was actually at Frankenson's when I saw this mummy collection, and I thought, oh my god, I should totally get that. So, what did I do? I totally got that. Um, I have been looking for VHS tapes everywhere, trying to find them. Uh, mostly horror movie tapes. I saw a vendor at a Spooksy Boo 
event that was selling a lot, but at the moment, I literally could not buy anything else. That day I had spent so much money on other horror movie things, I said to myself, Ryan, no. So, I got this one another day. It is the Mummy Collection, MCA Universal Monster Collection. You get the Mummy, you get the Mummy's Curse, and of course, the Mummy's Ghost. Now, I have not seen the Mummy's Curse or the Mummy's Ghost, but if I could get them all for one small price, you bet your booty I'm going to. <laughs> so, this is the classic collection. You got the mummy on there. Super good condition, almost brand new, but then again, I don't believe this one is a vintage copy, obviously. Uh, looks like it's an ad for the classic monster collection, $14.98 each. I got this entire pack for like $11, so no thank you. Uh, there you go. You got the MCA Universal uh, tape on there. Very, very good. Here we have, put that there, the Mummy's Curse, which I have not seen. I'm not sure, did they get uh, Lon Chaney? Yup, they got Lon Chaney for this one. Very, very good. You got it on there, and look at that, everybody. 1480, what? No, thank you. Got the uh, cassette in there, looking good. Big fan. Big fan. And the mummy's ghost, but hold on, let me guess. Mr. Go. 
Goes to Mars. Fantastic kids movie. And I'm not going to be opening these. Or you know what? It's not a VHS collection. Unless I show you the VHS tapes. It's just these kind of make a little bit of noise when opening them. The brave little toaster goes to Mars. Now you know I'm not lying. Alrighty, next up we have D2, The Mighty Ducks. Uh, I, I don't know. You're gonna kill me. I know I'm supposed to be a movie guy. I know of The Mighty Ducks, but I don't remember watching this movie. It's probably my brother. Uh, you got a good little side piece there. Back of it. You got it in the packaging. <laughs> Not much to say about movies that I don't even remember watching. <laughs> I I don't know why we bought a Digimon movie, but I can almost guarantee you that we went into the movie store and I saw something cool and colorful with kid that looked like me on the cover and said, Mommy, I want the, the Digimon movie. Okay, go get me that movie. I'm gonna dig it up. Digimon is the name, but don't remember watching it. Um, you know what I'm gonna do one day? Digimon Digital Monsters Volume 1. I'm going to watch all of these movies. Uh, and see if I could film my reaction to them for Patreon and maybe I'll spark a memory and see something and be like, holy crap, I, I remember that now. That would be good. We have, wow, the Muppet Classic Theater where six fairy tales take a wacky twist. The Muppets was always something that I watched as a kid along with Elmo. I freaking loved Elmo. Um, so I guess this is just six short films about three little pigs, King Midas, the boy who cried wolf. Oh my god, these look so familiar now that I'm looking at them. Rumpelstiltskin. The Elves and the Shoemaker and the Emperor's New Clothes. Dude, I'm definitely unlocking some memories with this one just by looking at the photos. We have the VHS tape in there. But yeah, the Muppets were awesome growing up. I always used to watch them. Let's show some love over to this side. <laughs> Of course, we didn't have the original Lion King. We had Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. I remember Disney had a bunch of sequels uh, to their original movies, like Aladdin, The Lion King. I think there was even a Lion King, like, two and a half. It... Hollywood will never stop, guys, okay? They will beat down the properties that you love until you stop paying for them. There's that. Looking pretty good. And obviously, inside there you got the tape. Looks good. I don't remember watching that either. Now here is a movie I remember watching. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, Jim Carrey can do no wrong when it comes to his acting. I grew up on him, on his movies, Bruce Almighty, Liar Liar, Dumb and Dumber, author, all his comedy movies, but I always loved him in The Grinch. Um, I actually had no idea he was in The Grinch until I got a little bit older and realized, oh wait, that's Jim Carrey under there. His name was on the top. And little baby Ryan couldn't see that. But 
this one is pretty nice. Packaging is really cool. It's nice and green. Has a bunch of color on it, you know, green and red for Christmas. And I think, oh, I thought the VHS tape was green, but you got your VHS tape in there. Looking good. I know I ask a lot of questions for you guys to comment down below, but what is a kid's movie or even a movie that you loved as a kid? Like, what was your main movie that you went to, your go-to childhood movie? I'd love to know. Oh, this is a good one. We have a fully restored 30th anniversary of The Jungle Book on VHS. Very, very nice. You know, not much to say about the Jungle Book. I don't remember most of it, other than that song that that one of the monkeys sing. He's like, I want to be like me, talk like me, do, uh, do, 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 be, do, be, do, uh, talk like you, do, be, do, be, do. I want to walk like you, talk like you, do. I'm sorry if you had to witness that, but hey, if you're like 40 minutes into the video, I think you deserve to, to sit through that much more pain. Um, so that right there is the Jungle Book. Very, very nice. Another classic. Oh, Weenie the Boo. Weenie the Boo and Barney were kind of my brother and I's thing growing up as well. So we had a, a bunch of these VHSs hanging around. We demolished the packaging on this one, but, yep. There's the VHS tape for it. Looks good. I don't remember. Also, Melody Time, a uh, really cool Disney short uh, that I liked a lot. They even uh, showcased a Melody Time in California Adventure not too long ago in their interactive theater. And they did a great job. I thought it was really, really cool. So, there's Melody Time. Oh, I gotta open it. A nice blue color on that tag. Looks really, really nice. Okay, what year is this from? It doesn't say. when it doesn't say the year. It's probably on the tape. Here we have Toy to the Story. Toy Story, uh, a very, very popular movie. Obviously one of the most popular uh, Pixar Disney films ever. Um, just absolutely wonderful. The animation I remember for the time was pretty good. My ASMR is putting me to sleep. That, and it's like one in the morning. Um, I like to record my videos late at night. Uh, yeah, I remember the animation for this movie being pretty top-notch for its time. So, you got everything in there, obviously. We have the tape in there as well. Oh. Another movie that I wish didn't have this big white packaging around it is E.T., another huge classic from Universal. Just a very emotional movie that puts you through a roller coaster of emotions. I actually met the kid in the movie. What's his name? Uh, I don't know his name. Oh yeah, Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas. Uh, I got to meet him at one of the Monster Palooza conventions that I go to, and it was so much fun. E.T. Looking good. Got it all in there. I miss conventions so badly, guys. You have no idea. Oh, God. Are the movies showing? I think some of them are. We're going to move this down. Okay. The next one. Oh, shit. Sorry for cursing, kids. I'm an adult. Jumanji. 
Robin Williams in Jumanji. I remember I used to actually be pretty scared of some of the moments in this movie. Uh, more specifically, the moment where he gets his face, like, stuck in the floorboards. Terrified me as a kid. Um, but a really, really good movie nonetheless. We got it on VHS. I would love to watch it again. I feel like they did pretty good with the new Jumanji movies uh, with Dwayne Johnson uh, and like Kevin Hart and Jack Black. They they did pretty good, you know, for the next generation of comedy and kids to, you know, be introduced to it, switching it over to a video game. I have zero clue what this movie is. Polly, I don't know what it is. It looks like it's a movie about a parrot. So we're just gonna push that one to the side there. I don't know if Polly wants a cracker or not. We have the Aristic... Aristic... Aristocats. The Aristocats. I thought it was the Aristor cats. The Aristocats. <laughs> I've never seen this one, and I know it's a huge Disney classic, so... I should probably give it a try, but again, I'm a fake fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take a swig of my water. If you're still awake, uh, please take this time to take a nice drink of water. Quick little water break never will hurt you. That woke me up. And I will show off my hydro flask every chance I get. Check it out. Check it out. Yup. Yup. That's pretty bogger's if you ask me. It's a very, very clutch gamer move. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's so late. I, we're so far into the video, I don't even think people are going to see this part. That's why I'm just so... chillaxed. <laughs> the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I, uh, freaking love this movie. I like the, the bad guy's part where he's like, Hellfire. That song is pretty cool. Uh, this is probably my brother's favorite Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has a Quasimodo, like, big figurine from the original actual, like, monster movie. It's pretty, pretty cool. But, yeah, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love it. Oh, I gotta show you the tape, don't I? It's in there. Look at that. Looks good, looks good. Okay. I feel like crying even just looking at this because, wow, this movie. The amount of times I've seen this movie is unhealthy. My little vampire. I it, Please, guys, if you have not seen this movie, go watch this movie. It's crazy. It's weird. It's family friendly. It's just, it's one of those movies where you just, you can't really explain it other than just saying, go watch it. It's, it's My Little Vampire, you know? It has that very, like, early 2000s feel. 2001. I was right. So, if you have not seen My Little Vampire, I would super recommend checking it out. I'm going to watch this like tomorrow. I'm going to hook up my VCR. That'd be a lot of fun. Next up, we have another Disney classic, the Masterpiece Collection of Pocahontas. Uh, not much to say. Pocahontas is a great movie. Uh, a classic that most people have seen. It's in there. And pretty cool. Right? The Land Before Time 2. Now, I remember watching the first one, but I don't remember the 
the sequel. Uh, it's probably not that good, but hey, what are you gonna do? They gotta squeeze out more money out of those kids. That one was loud, I'm sorry about that. The Land Before Time 2. I thought the original was in there. Another movie that is just like, what were they thinking when they wrote it, is My Favorite Martian. Christopher Lloyd and Jeff Daniels. This movie is so weird. You have no, like, I, like what the, f I don't even know why my parents let me watch this. It's like a Disney movie, but I just remember it being really, really weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. This was, uh, Doesn't say what year it is. No. No year. Sorry about that. If I had to choose year, I would say like 99. Like 1999. Damn it. Well, there's the tape. I don't know what year this was made. I'm a fake fan. I don't know what this is, but it's the Swan Princess. I, I maybe this was like my cousins or something, and they mixed her stuff up with mine. But the Swan Princess. As I said before, we grew up on Barney, so we have Barney's Night Before Christmas special. Uh, we used to sing along to their songs all the time. We used to watch our Barney live in New York um, VHS tape that we had a lot, but hey, I found this one. Oh, still in the packaging. And the cool thing about the Barney movies is it was always like a white VHS tape, which I thought was pretty cool. I, I don't really uh, see many other ones that are white. I've seen some that are green, some that are red, um, but the white ones are pretty cool. It's unique. Small Soldiers, another really, really good movie uh, that I used to watch all the time as a kid. I think this has Kirsten Dunst. It is, it does have Kirsten Dunst. Very, very funny movie trippy and cool. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy at some times, but hey. Now, if you are a Power Rangers fan, hell yeah, first of all, but this right here, this right here made me want to do backflips in my backyard. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Oh my god, this movie about like the goo and Rita, Repo like just all of them were awesome. I always wanted to be the Blue Ranger because blue was my favorite color growing up, but the Power Rangers were and always will be the shiznit. They're freaking awesome. And I'm really glad we still have these on VHS because all of them are great. Um, we have Power Rangers space not power rangers in space but power rangers space which is cool these photos look like they were taking taken in front of like a green screen <laughs> like like an amateur did it and then we have turbo a power rangers movie another really really cool movie you know how they like to do it I've, 1997, so this one came out before. Wow, so like I said, we have many more family movies and cartoon movies and 
and stuff like that that I'll be uh, showing. This right here is just the ones that were in that white packaging, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get the rest of the movies in my collection and show you guys these are the leftovers, the miscellaneous, the the whatever movies, you know. A lot of these I watched as a kid, but um, I'm just going to not really go in any specific order from now since we're almost an hour into the video. Let's get started and get into our final part. Bravo, bravo. Here we are on the last category of the video. If you made it to this point, you just watched me talk about movies for an hour, just reliving my childhood and enjoying the fun times and each other's company, of course. Or you skipped here. Yeah, you skipped to this part, didn't you? You just clicked on the timestamp and you just washed over the first hour of my hard work, my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just messing with you. These movies don't really have a category. We're just going to be kind of running through them, having a good time, relaxing, and again, like I said before, talking about movies. So whether you watch the whole thing or you skipped here, welcome to the final part. We're just going to speed run through this. Speed run through this. Yep, that's a terrible segue into the first movie, Keanu Reeves in Speed. Now, Speed is a really, really good action movie. Uh, if this is the right one, yes, this is the bus one. I think they made another one with, um, no, wait, Sandra Bullock is in this one. I, I'm tired, but it's a really good movie. It's about a bus that can't go, like, below a certain mile per hour, so it needs to maintain its speed. And uh, it's a pretty good action movie. It has Dennis Hopper in it, too, and he's a really, really good actor. I'm a big fan of him. But, uh, yeah, you got the Warner Home tape in there. Or Fox, what is that? 20th Century Fox. Very, very good. One of my favorite comedies growing up as a kid was A Night at the Roxbury. Now, this movie had Will Ferrell and uh, Chris Caden. Caden? I forgot his name, but he also was in a movie called Corky Romano. I watched a lot as a kid as well. Super, super amazing movies. Uh, but this one just holds a special place in my heart. I used to watch it with my brother all the time. Big fan of it. And if you are a fan of those, like, Will Ferrell comedy movies, you need to check this one out. It's a lot of fun. Next up, we have another great comedy. Now, this is the third one. I'm a big fan of the first one. Eddie Murphy in Beverly Hills Cop 3. I could have sworn we had the first two, but we don't really know where they're at right now, so we're just gonna have to uh, settle for the first two, or the third one. Just a fun cop movie that you should definitely check out. A lot of fun. Eddie Murphy can do no wrong. That man's a legend. And a movie that I haven't seen, but we have the Best Picture, uh, 1986 Best Picture edition of Platoon. This stars Willem Dafoe, I believe, and is just a really good war movie. Uh, again, I haven't seen it, but looks like amazing, and I am definitely going to be watching this sometime very, very soon. HBO video. Let's go on to this side so we can start getting this stack down. We have the Adams Family. Big, big fan of the Adams Family. Another uh, childhood movie I would watch all the time around Halloween time. I mean, it's creep, it's creepy, it's spooky, and it's kooky. Uh, just a really good all-around family movie. It's like dark comedy, so. There's a lot of scenes 
isn't there for the adults as much as there are for the kids. Like, it's, it's such a mixture of all of those aspects of what makes something an adult movie and what makes something a kid's movie. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, one of my favorite scenes being when uh, Puxley and Wednesday are performing in their talent show and they're like reciting some sort of play or something but they're just slashing at each other with swords and there's blood everywhere there's just blood squirting all over the crowd there's, it's just it's insane um but it's a really fun scene it's technically a comedy but it's supposed to be a horror comedy uh the adams family an amazing series and look it's broken there's the tape in there very, very nice. I'm going to try to keep that intact. There you go. Oh my god. Little Nicky. Rated one of the worst movies of all time by Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. This movie uh, used to be a comedy I watched all the time. And people say that it is easily one of Adam Sandler's worst movies ever, uh, on par with Jack and Jill. So, I honestly, it's, it's something else. It's crazy, but, uh, and it's so funny that the top of, uh, one of the quotes up there says, Adam Sandler, like, one of Adam Sandler's best movies so far. Adam Sandler's best movie so far. Yeah. It's, it's different. It's definitely different. Galaxy Quest. Uh, I have never watched Galaxy's Quest, Galaxy Quest. Um, but it looks fun. It looks like a, a parody about Star Wars and Star Trek. More Star Trek than Star Wars, but yay. I have never seen it. I apologize. Oh, another one of my favorite comedies, The Nutty Professor, uh, another Eddie Murphy movie where he plays, like, almost all of his family members, besides the kid, obviously, and, uh, just a really, really funny movie, and it's, it's good when it comes to, like, beauty standards and stuff, you know, I'm pretty sure the message behind the entire movie is you don't have to be skinny to be this confident, wonderful man, you know, or have someone fall in love with you. Like, it's just, it's a really good movie. <laughs> the highly recommended. Pretty Woman. Uh, I've, I've never seen Pretty Woman, but apparently it's a classic. I'm fairly certain my mom got this movie. Um, but, yeah. Pretty Woman. I don't know what it's about. I know it's about something, but I don't really want to talk about that on the channel. Shallow Hell, a movie that would, would definitely be very, uh, I would say not appropriate for our time, especially with a lot of political correctness going on, but it's basically about this guy played by Jack Black named Hell that, um, he sees people for the beauty that they have inside. So he doesn't see them from their actual physical selves, but he sees them physically as their beauty inside. So obviously there's those moments where he sees a really hot, skinny, really fit, beautiful girl. And then his friend's like, bro, what are you talking about? And then it cuts to the friend's perspective and it's like this overweight person with like pimples and messy hair and the entire message behind this one is see people for who they are, you know, personality, heart, love, caring. It's not always about looks. And when he finally gets the procedure done to like see normally, see people f no matter what, not just for like who they are is inside, he still finds the woman he loves to be the most beautiful woman ever. So even though she's this 
against beauty standards of you have to be skinny and now she's overweight and isn't as beautiful as she was before. He still decides to be like, no, I still love you. Why would I not love you? You know, it's, it's another good message about love yourself and love others for who they are, not really for just what they look like. You know, there's more to a person than just that first physical look you get. Here we have a comedy that inspired me uh, and still to this day inspires a lot of my comedy, which is physical, fast-paced, uh, energetic comedy that Jim Carrey brings in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Now, this is probably another one of those movies that I just watched over and over and over again. Uh, just studying Jim Carrey and everything he does in front of the camera. We've all seen this movie, and if you haven't, you should definitely watch it. It's one of the best movies out there. Um, comedies, at least. Another movie my mom showed me a lot is a really funny comedy called Police Academy. Now, there are a lot of of Police Academy movies out there, but this original first one is by far the best one. It's funny, it's goofy, it's it's a lot of things. Uh, and I actually had the honor of meeting, what was her name? I feel so awful. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find it. Scott, my with Leslie Easterbrook. She plays one of the more beautiful um, captains or officers that's like uh, commanding everybody there. And she's also the one who plays Mama Firefly in The Devil's Rejects. I was able to meet her and take photos with her. She is the most kind and beautiful woman I've ever met. Um, She's just very, very sweet, and she was reminded of a lot of the training they had to go through for that movie. They actually put a lot of the actors through legitimate police academy exercises to really get them in that role and in the feel of what it what it takes to be an officer. So it, it's a really funny movie. It's a good take on all that, and I think it's just a classic in my eyes. I have a lot of Pokemon VHSs. I don't remember watching these, so if anything, it was probably my brother. Uh, but we have Wake Up Snorlax. I think these maybe are episodes. Uh, we have Eevee Evolve on there. Let's see, we have a Psychic Surprise. <laughs> Battle for the Marsh Badge. I don't know. We have Picture Perfect, Ace the Pokey Examination, <laughs> uh, we have Seaside Pikachu, The Pokemon Adventure, and we have Jigglypuff Bob, which just by the cover is already my favorite. Meowth in Love. <laughs> these are hilarious. So, I have all these Pokemon VHS tapes. They're vintage, authentic ones. If you guys are Pokemon fans and feel like these are worth something, let me know in the comments. Uh, they're probably just going to be sitting in storage for the longest time. Because I don't know what to do with them. I'd love to sell some of these or do a giveaway with some of them. That'd be pretty fun. I would love to do a giveaway. Here we have a digitally remastered version of X-Men, which honestly was one of the first uh, superhero movies like Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, to really get that... Uh, get in that superhero movie craze before Disney did with Marvel and, you know, uh, Christopher Nolan did with the Dark 
Dark Knight and all these amazing movies. So, one of the earlier superhero movies. Here we have George of the Jungle, a Disney movie with, uh, what's that actor's name? Brendan Fraser. There you go. I was trying to remember his name. Brendan Fraser plays George of the Jungle. I don't remember this one at all, but I did love the theme song, George, George, George of the Jungle, uh, when I was a kid, so that's fun. <laughs> Uh, next one is Speed Racer, the original TV classic. This one is an original, so... It doesn't show me the year that this was made. I mean, if this... If this was made in 1966... No, VHS tapes were invented. Oh, 1993. This tape was made in 93. So, there's that. Very, very cool. Speed Racer. I've never seen it myself, but it, uh, it looks cool. It's adventure number three. The fastest car on earth. Another fun one for the collection, I guess. We have another Power Ranger movie, Power Rangers in 3D. Very, very cool. Still love the Blue Ranger. That guy is the one that I want to be for sure. Uh, my favorite uh, National Lampoon's Vacation movie. Not favorite. I would say Christmas Vacation is way better. Uh, Vegas Vacation is just the most memorable for me because it's the one my family uh, showed me the most. But National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation with uh, Chevy Chase, Randy Quaid, and Beverly D'Angelo. I love them. I think uh, they were all good Obviously, some uh, go downhill every now and then, but what series doesn't, am I right? Airplane, another comedy that is just one of those classic Leslie Nielsen comedies like the movie Naked Gun or any of those old school kind of like slapstick clever comedy movies. Um, unfortunately, when Net Leslie Nielsen died, it just, it ripped a hole out of the comedy world. I mean, that guy, still to this day, in my eyes, is one of the funniest guys on the planet. Um, just a clever movie, very adult and raunchy. A lot of the jokes might not fly today, but it's, it's hilarious. I think it's a lot of fun, so if you can handle some uh, adult, raunchy comedy, Definitely check out Airplane. Another movie that uh, was my first introduction to Jake Gyllenhaal is Bubble Boy. If you guys haven't seen this, another really good movie to see. Uh, it's a funny, fresh, and irreverent comedy that they're saying here on the back with some of the quotes. Laugh out loud funny. I would uh, highly recommend it. Another movie I would watch almost daily with uh with my family just looking at all these photos on the back just remind me so much of my childhood it's insane um now i don't remember ever watching this but i do love rodney dangerfield so i have rodney dangerfield back to school never seen it uh i might check it out someday just because he was a great comic, but yeah, I have that in my collection, I can say that. And right here, The Naked Gun, an amazing comedy. This one and Naked Gun Two and a Half is just super, super funny. Um, he is an, a comedy legend, and like I said before, very raunchy comedy. You know, if you can handle that adult comedy life, definitely check it out. Really, really good movie. Never seen it, but Harrison Ford in Air Force One. Probably one of the movies my parents bought just to have, I guess. I don't know. 
a classic that I'm happy to have on VHS is Independence Day. A uh, super great movie. It's an alien invasion flick that just makes you want to say America. Um, but action movie about aliens attacking the White House. I mean, how much better can you get? This one made me laugh. Uh, I would never bring religion into the things that I do, but I just thought it was funny. We have a VHS movie that's just titled Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what it's about. It's probably about Jesus. But uh, I just thought it was funny because I was just digging through this and I thought to myself, hey honey, uh, what do you want to watch today? And I would just be like, Jesus. Jesus. That. I'm tired, okay? Finally, uh, we have, I think I have a couple more actually. <laughs> I have such a big collection. I hope you guys like these long movies, or long videos. Muggy and me take me out of the ball game. I have zero clue, but it looks like a vintage baseball movie. I wonder what these people are doing now. I want to be in a movie. I have one more small stack of movies to go through with you. Some of these are really weird. And others are just movies. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Christmas Collection. It uh, says relive the magic of Christmas all over again with these unforgettable classics. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, Christmas Toy Shop, and St. Nicholas. It's, it's 30 minutes long, just a bunch of short Christmas films. Next up, we have the animated WB Kids movie, X-Men Evolution, Mutants Rising. Uh, another movie I think I'd watch a lot with my brother. Nightcrawler was always my favorite of them. I thought he was pretty cool. So, always good to get those animated ones. Oh, and who doesn't remember the Magic School Bus, huh? Look at that. Miss Frizz swimming around with that submarine bus. The Magic School bus was absolutely amazing, and I actually think they're bringing it back, or they already did. There's like an animated series somewhere, I think, and people got mad because of what they did to one of the characters or something. They made her look dumb or something. I don't know. Next up, we have... The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Back when they tried to make Ronald a child icon of, you know, so you can watch this man go out on adventures and be super cool and fun while he's feeding you things that would most likely put you in the ground. The visitors from outer space out there with the Hamburglar and Grimace and all of them. So... Another little kid's cartoon that we had on VHS. An American Trail. Fivel Goes West or Fievel. I don't know who this is. I'm so sorry to the people who do. But another kid's cartoon. And these make me laugh. Uh, these are the... Excuse me school Disney sing-along songs and this one is from Aladdin's friend like me so they would basically just play all the Aladdin songs and have the subtitles going on and basically make a music video for all of the <gasps> songs that they had in the movie so they have friend like me the best of friends something there 
How do you do friendship in harmony? Let's get together. That's what friends are for. A whole new world. And friend like me. So, this had more songs than just in Aladdin. There's Little Mermaid in here. There's Beauty and the Beast, The Fox and the Hound, The Parent Trap, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. There's a lot of other ones. Okay, so it's not just Aladdin. A what looks to be cop crime drama, cop land. Never seen it, but beautiful cast of characters there with uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, and Robert De Niro. Fantastic actors. You got Rush Hour 2, which is a favorite trilogy of mine. I love Chris Tucker and I love Jackie Chan. I think this trilogy was amazing. And uh, if I'm right, yes, the second one I think is the best in my opinion. I like this one a lot. And finally, to close it out, we have There's Something About Mary, which is an adult comedy with Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz, and who is that? Matt Dillon. Uh, really, really funny comedy. Again, it's pretty adult. It's, it's out there with its messages and its imagery. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend it to the kids, but it's a pretty fun movie if you're an adult and can handle adult comedy. But, uh, yeah, guys. I can't thank you enough for sticking with me and watching another collection video. I really hope you guys like these videos. I'd love to make more in the future of my figurines, uh, books, because I'm trying to get into books now. Like I said before, I'm reading The Invisible Man, um, comic books, mangas. I just want to do more collection videos. Uh, I love collecting movie-related things, so that would be a lot of fun. I can't thank you guys enough for always being here with me and giving me something to do when I'm just sitting at home. I can turn on a camera and talk to thousands of people around the world, and it blows my mind that you guys are my best friends. You guys are people that come and watch my videos and just sit down and relax with me. It's, it's insane to think what four years has done to my life. You guys changed it, and I have no one else to thank but my amazing community. So thank you guys for always coming back. Thank you for always making me smile, always letting me help you smile, and uh, just most importantly, being there for me you know, always and forever. So, I love you guys. End of sobby, sobby speech. Sentimental stuff. I'm going to be collecting a lot more movies and VHS tapes and things like that, so stay tuned for more. If you want to support me more, I have a Patreon link in my description where you can get exclusive videos. You can join our Discord, which is so much fun. We have our own personal Minecraft server. We watch movies every week for our movie nights. We play games every week together in our game nights, and it's just a really good way to kind of be uh, more a part of my community. Community. We post movie reviews in there. We have channels about everything, video games, movies, normal things, pets, photos, videos, TikToks, funny things, memes, everything. So consider joining the Patreon and becoming a Discord member. That'd be fantastic. Uh, and I stream on Twitch. I do ASMR and gaming on there. So uh, go check that out if you'd like. But again, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. This has been the ASMR Ryan here. And please, don't forget to smile. Good night, everybody. All right. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Let's go.
go see if he had a very shiny nose.